What's good, everybody, and welcome back to the State of Mind podcast. And yes, this is episode number four, believe it or not. And on this particular episode, I got a chance to sit down with none other than a uh first things first welcome back to another episode of the state of mind podcast i'm your host and i go by the name of patrick and today i have a special guest he goes by the name of the billionaire king motivational speaker and actually the guy that gave me the best piece of advice that i still live to like i still live up to 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 this very day actually do you know what you told me which one was that i've got no idea (laughs) you see what i mean he has a lot on his mind so Mm. the best piece of advice you gave me was take a step back and breathe. Mm. It's simple, mm. but it has helped me along the way. I don't even lie to you. So for that, I want to say thank you for that. I appreciate you. And uh, yeah, man, why don't you introduce yourself? I just gave a little intro because I felt like it was appropriate. Mm. Mm. But why don't, you, why don't you let them know who you are? Uh, yeah, so uh, on that advice, actually, that's, that's advice. I probably gave it to you because I hear it all the time. But, um, <laughs> Really? Yeah, yeah. I I have a tendency of running around like uh, the bloody energizer, energizer bunny, and and, and yeah. I'm always up and down. Mm-hmm. So um, my 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 girlfriend uh, and 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 my friends have a tendency of, of of saying, "Dude, just just breathe. Like yeah. s- s- slow down." So that's where it came down. from. Yeah. So oh. so uh, if I gave it to you, it's because I get it a lot, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, that's um. That's I like to share, I like to share my shit. No, definitely. Yeah. So uh, yeah, um, my name is Jonas Amunyela. Uh, they call me the Billionaire King. I call me uh, the Billionaire King. Let's go. Uh, businessman, entrepreneur, mm-hmm. uh, man, lawyer, motivational speaker. I don't know. I've got a lot of titles. Uh, is it safe to call you a jack of all trades? Well, not all, but yeah. uh, I'm I'm a jack I'm a jack of many trades. I'm, oh, I'm, nice. uh, I'm personally one of those guys who don't believe in the saying, uh, or, or I, b- I believe in a saying. I just don't believe it's a bad thing. No. A lot of people say, "Oh, jack of all trades, master of none." Yeah. But I d- I, d- who, I I do a lot of things, mm-hmm. but I'm really only doing one thing. Yeah. Yeah, and 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 um, a, a big part of that is uh, teaching. For me, yeah. anyway. Okay. Uh, so, it, it it doesn't matter whether whether I'm in the dojo, whether I'm at work, mm-hmm. whether I'm at my business, whether I'm doing a motivational speech, whether I'm writing. Doesn't mm-hmm. matter what I'm doing. Uh, ultimately, what I'm doing is I'm teaching, and 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 on top of that, I'm selling. So, yeah. um, I'm a salesman, and and what I, what I'm really doing is I'm I'm sharpening my ability to sell and market as well as my ability to teach nice yeah now i appreciate you for that mm. I, i'll continue mm. to Thank do you. that and do more but uh on that note my man what got you into entrepreneurship because my myself okay i'm a freelancer mm. uh i always felt like I, n- I never wanted to claim the entrepreneur title yet because i want to live up to that because it's i feel like everyone uses it and mm. i'm kind of t- sick and tired of it mm. and it kind of makes everyone else look bad who's actually pursuing the life of entrepreneur mm. but my question to you is oh it's the same that i just asked how do you get into entrepreneurship uh entrepreneurship so um it was a very long time ago mm. uh, <laughs> i 
I, I think I think I might have been making it seem like it's ancient. Yo. It, it, it was. I, oh. I I I I started building my first business systems in grade four. I was ten years old. What the hell, man? Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> what what? It, um, and what what had happened was mm-hmm. I I I saw this uncle of mine, and this guy was um. He, he he was my dad's friend and this guy pulled up in I, I'm I'm really into cars. I love the damn machines. Nice. And this guy pulls up in a Lexus R S three hundred white, like pearl white. Amazing, pearl white wasn't even a thing up until now. <laughs> um, and, yeah. and, and, and I saw this thing and I said, What the hell is that guy doing with Lexus R S three hundred? I hadn't seen any at the time I knew of Harold Popkovic had one. Okay. Uh, and then this guy pulls up in in a Lexus uh, RS three hundred, and 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 it's not it's not it's not a loud car, it's not it's not flashy, mm-hmm. it's not it's not anything, but it stands it, out. It 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 doesn't stand out at all. Okay. But it's it's like it's like an elite vehicle, like it's it's an mm. elite an elite vehicle. Like it's not it's not even man. There are very few things. It, it's one, it was one of the most expensive vehicles on the market at the time nice. in Namibia that I had seen. Okay. And I asked myself, first of all, who is this guy, right? And secondly, uh, who drives a Lexus? And thirdly, who can afford a bloody Lexus? He's a black man. And I said, what? <laughs> what does that guy do? So I started asking questions about about him and yeah. what he does and mm-hmm. how he does it. And 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 I heard that he's he's he's, he's a bloody businessman. And I said. That's what I want to do, straight up. Yeah, no other I, I way. I think I think I was grade three, maybe, and 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 that's when I knew that I wanted to do business. I wanted to to at the time I didn't understand it yet, uh-huh. but I knew that uh, sales is what I wanted to get into. Business was what I wanted to get into, and and I told myself I'm going to become a businessman. That was it. Uh, next year, I I I bought. Um, uh, a packet of sweets. Yeah. Also, um, uh, my d- my dad, uh, uh, a ball busting guy. <laughs> He's yeah, he, okay. he, from a very early age, he let me be very independent. So he he would give me an amount of money, mm-hmm. and um, that was it. Uh, he stayed in the north, and we stayed in Windhoek. Yeah. So it was a thing of um, from from a very early age. I was on my own. So what he would do was he would say, listen, guys, I'm going to pay the water and I'll buy you guys food at first. Mm-hmm. And the rest the rest is on your electricity. You can sort that shit out. Ev- everything else is, is, is on you. I think after a couple of years, he cut out the food as well. And all he was doing was was paying for the water. I think, it, in fact, it wasn't food and, and, and water. It was electricity and water. Yeah. We, were, we were buying our own food and sorting out our own yeah, so he had he had sorted our transport. We were we were sorted to get to school. Mm-hmm. Um, he arranged with uh, with a friend of his, our neighbor, uh, and uh, he so he would take us to school and pick us up from school. Um, then he would sort out the house's water and he would sort out the house electricity and everything else was on our own. So um, at some point, I started struggling, and I said, "Shit." I need to bloody well make some more money, mm-hmm. and uh, so I, I I went out to Baines, uh, and I bought a packet of sweets. Okay. Uh, How much did I go for? Uh, it 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 went for around thirty thirty bucks. Ah, okay. Thirty dollars, and what I did was I had three mayonnaise jars. Okay. And uh, one jar I I labeled. Um, um, I labeled profit, the other jar I labeled savings, and the other jar I labeled stock. Wait, hold up. Dude, you're in grade four. I was in grade four. Dude, that means you're like 10 years old? I was 10 years old. And all this shit was going through your mind already? This is what was going through (laughs) my mind. 10 years old. So, So, wow. Okay. uh, And I just wanted to clear that up for everybody uh, because, yeah, this is a 10 year old kid talking about savings, uh, profit, uh, and. And uh, and stock and stock. So 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 wow. what so what I would do was, um, I took, um, I would I, I I would 
I, I would budget my my money mm-hmm. um and what was left of it i would take this 30 bucks and then i would buy i bought my packet my first packet of sweets mm-hmm. sold it for 42 namibian dollars put that into savings took the thir- or i put the 12 bucks into savings okay. took the 30 bucks in put it in stock and went to go buy now uh, an, an another packet of nice. of, of, of of sweets uh-huh. sold that at 42 bucks i don't know how much i was selling the sweets for but i remember uh, that i got the 12 buck profit yeah and and, <laughs> and 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 when i made up the the the, the second 30 dollars yeah i took the six bucks i took the six bucks i, I took 60 bucks mm-hmm. and i put the 60 bucks as stock so now i could buy two packets Pack of sweets. of, of yeah. sweets and then i took the six bucks mm-hmm. and put it in the profits jar <laughs> and and then i started over but now i had two packets of sweets nice. so instead of making 42 i was making 84 so double up yeah and 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 i did that for about a year up until my dad found out that you were slanging sweets. Yeah, that I was, that <laughs> was slanging sweets, and, and 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 I was I was. Uh, was he upset? Oh, he was. He was livid. Really? That, 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 guy, that guy said, "I'm not going to have a kid of mine." Uh, please, please um, turn on the the the, the live. Oh, turn on it. Oh. Yeah. 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 So sorry about that. So so he he said, um, he's he's not going to have a kid of his. Um, slanging sweets like he doesn't provide for his kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I understand. My, 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 my dad was through and through about education. Yeah. You, you go to school, you, 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 you go to school, you get a job, you make money, you and, make then, money. and then he would talk about um, saving and building and all these sorts of things but yeah. but my dad my dad wasn't a businessman yeah. he wasn't he wasn't um same here yeah. yeah it's a thing of it's a it's a different era like you said it was a matter of getting education getting a job mm. getting a house and getting married yeah but what they didn't know was the world is about to shift yeah. to something completely different so even with my in my case i remember uh i had this business i was doing my cousin mm. and uh we had this bucky it wasn't being used it was just in the, cu- in, the in the yard mm. so i'm like you know what then let's let's start moving people's shit mm. so <laughs> and it's like i'm actually proud of this shit because it was like my first time taking initiative like i knew i always wanted to own shit i just never knew what it was i always knew i wanted to have something that belonged to me i could s- honestly say i built this mm. So, back to the story, we had this bucky just sitting in the yard. So I told this dude, "Look, we're gonna start moving people's shit. We're gonna start with students first. And I can remember the first two days of us moving, we made two point five. Mm. So Which year was this? That was I don't know, two thousand and uh, thirteen, something like that. No, for sure, it's okay. Yeah, it's good. We made two thousand five hundred dollars in two days, mm. and I'm like. <laughs> that's that's money. That's some good money. That's money. Yeah. Now, along the way, just like your situation, my dad caught wind. Mm. <laughs> then he took the fucking car away. <laughs> ah, I'm telling and you. And he bro. gave me the same speech. Like, how dare you? I yeah. Like, like, I, I raised you right. I'm like, no, I didn't say shit. I didn't say you didn't raise me right. I just fuck, nigga. I'm just trying to make some yeah, money. Yeah. I just found a way to make money, and I'm doing it. And 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 I mean, for for me. Uh, what I learned from 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 that situation was that there's growing up as a child, you tend to have this superhero complex for your parents. Yeah, and and the it it can become very problematic mm-hmm. uh, when you encounter things like that uh, because you you learn pretty much everything from the way your parents operate with the world mm-hmm. because um uh, uh, and and I'm going to jump into um some uh, early child development stuff okay um and 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 how it works is you've got two primary ways of learning um the first stage of learning 
happens between the ages of zero and seven. Uh, that's called hypnosis. Okay. And uh, what happens in that in that phase is the child is is has this inbuilt um, system. When the child is born, child the the body might work, the mm. body might know what it's doing, but uh, the mind, the human being doesn't know what it's doing. So when the child is born, the child is essentially an animal. Obviously there's there's prenatal learning, yeah. but but that mainly happens through the mother. Uh, what happens after the child is born between the ages of 0 and 7, the kid is is watching what is Uncle Patrick doing? How does Uncle Patrick talk to Uncle Jonas? How does Uncle Patrick talk to mommy? Mm-hmm. How does Uncle Patrick talk to grandmommy? How does Uncle Patrick talk He's retaining to information basically? Yes, and, and and the kid is just it, it, the, the it's 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 a vibrational frequency. There's there's alpha, it, it's waves now. There's alpha, there's delta, there's uh, there's alpha, there's beta, there's theta, and then there's delta. Mm-hmm. So can uh, you explain those? So so alpha, mm-hmm. your alpha state is where we are operating now. Okay. Uh, well, before you entered this room. <laughs> but um, <Okay. laughs> I got you. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, so your 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 alpha state is where you operate most throughout most of the day. Mm-hmm. When when you're running around, when you're at work, you're in the city, you're doing whatever it is, school, whatever whatever it is that you're doing, mm-hmm. you're, you're operating at, at at the alpha brainwave, and uh, your beta brainwave is uh, when you are logging out of the buzz, okay. out of the hype. You're coming home. You're settling down. Things are slowing down. You're coming into more familiar space. You're not. You 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 you're willing to pull off a mask. Well, uh, ideally, yeah. uh, you're you, you're coming home. You're willing to pull off your mask and and just become you again. Uh, theta is the state that you go into just before uh, you fall asleep. So it's it's the state that's in between consciousness and subconsciousness. Oh, okay. And 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 that's where uh, the effective hypnotist ideally wants to have you uh, because it's a it's it's a state where you're not fully awake but you're not fully asleep so you're somewhere but you're nowhere i read somewhere that's like the perfect time uh the the that that that, that stage between being conscious and just being half asleep and mm. like that's the best time for like people to actually start meditating yes right? and, and 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 the reason for it and i i mean i've even heard guys say that if you if you want to retain something, mm-hmm. uh, I, I don't know. There was there was a, a, a Dexter a Dexter episode where the guy <laughs> oh, only yeah. do for much. Yeah, right. So Dexter went to sleep. He put on he put on this um, this audio, and he he was studying for a test, a French test. Yeah. And what they were explaining in the episode was that uh, you want to be in that theta state to learn as much, to absorb as much as you possibly can mm-hmm. because you're not awake, you're not asleep. Yeah. And then um, uh, then there's delta brain waves. Uh, we don't even need to get into that. We'll stop at theta. Yeah. So uh, 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 in, in when, when you are in theta, you are in, uh, you, you, your, sub, your conscious mind is off okay. because you are not awake. Mm-hmm. And your subconscious mind is logging in. But now your subconscious mind works like a program yeah. it works with 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 specific programs that are installed and it just operate it, it's just running those programs it doesn't do anything else it just runs those programs mm-hmm. so whatever program is installed in your system uh, is what it will be running but to install a program you install it before you log you can't install the program while you are in the subconscious mind because then it's already operating Oh, okay. you, you need to you need to install it you've got that 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 window between conscious and subconscious you've got a window of of installation where you can put your uh, you can install the program basically you can load the program yeah. and 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 the subconscious mind then picks this up so children between the ages of zero and seven um are in a constant on an a near constant state of theta Nice. Almost, almost hundred, almost hundred. Well, I don't know the, the specific stats, but yeah. they spend a lot of time in theta, and they they're literally just absorbing how the world works mm-hmm. and downloading all these programs and saying, okay, so if I'm a man and I'm a man, I look like Uncle Patrick. Right? I've, mm-hmm. I've I've got everything that Uncle Patrick has got. So this is how 
uh, Uncle Patrick behaves. This is how a man behaves. And then Uncle Jonas comes in. And then the kid now sees, oh, okay, so Uncle Patrick operates like this. And Uncle Jonas operates like this. Okay, so then it means it must mean I must operate like this. And it, it's, it's constant reinforcement. And the, the, so, so the kid, what the kid is doing, the kid is learning and downloading all these programs yeah. into uh, its subconscious uh, the, in, into its subconscious mind, and that's why you can take a kid, you can take a kid, uh, a Vambu kid, and you drop him in the Serengeti with the Sen people, and he'll grow up as a Sen, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And that kid will never be a Vambu kid, unless he's he's, he's a very effective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, but I get I get your point. Yeah. yeah uh-huh. So 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 uh, it's 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 very important for children to uh, or for us as parents to understand that during the ages of zero and between ages of zero and seven, you, what you are doing for the kid, what the way you behave in front of the kid, the kid is taking in all of this information. So and basically it's critical, man. It, 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 it's, it's, it's a critical, it's, it's a critical, stage critical right stage. And, 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 and to get into the biology of it, you've got, um, what you call, um, your, I'm not sure if, if, if they're called synapses now, but in any case, it's um they they are the it, it's it's a network within your brain. Mm-hmm. And 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 it in in, 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 in in during that time period, those that network is busy forming. At the age of seven, that network solidifies and that forms the basis of the kid's life. Because those are now the installed programs that the kid will operate from. And that's why you'll find people who have experienced uh, trauma, for example, mm-hmm. uh, just kind of operate, even if they're 50, 60 years old, they still just operate on that if they do not understand where the behavior comes from. Uh, on, on top of that, um, you, you and, now, and I'm bringing it back now to, 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 to my story, mm-hmm. is that my dad was not a businessman. Um, uh, in the traditional sense, mm-hmm. uh, so he, he, he. Where I got lucky was that my dad networked a lot, and okay. interestingly enough, he spent a lot of time with a lot of business people, and uh, I, I, I picked this out, and I said, ah, these guys make a lot of money. <laughs> these guys make a real lot of money, yeah. right? So I started, I developed an interest in business people. At, at a very very early stage, and um, I then started to study them because I like to study shit, mm-hmm. especially people. So uh, uh, I, I, along with studying my dad's behavior, mm-hmm. uh, I I had the opportunity to study a lot of business people. Yeah, and and, and and that's where I learned um, entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. Yeah, that's big. It takes us back to our question. <laughs> it takes us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was a long. That was a wasn't a good explanation though. I liked it. Thank you. Um, but uh, yeah, man. Uh, entrepreneurship. I completely forgot what I was going to ask again. But okay, back to what you were saying. Because clearly, you're really well read on the psychology aspect of of studying people. Mm. But here's my question: What do you think? What do you think about the people that are, l- are listening to this right now? And like, well, you're not a father, so how would you know all these things? How do they know? Well, because <laughs> I, 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 I get an un, 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 unfair question, but <laughs> no, sorry, I, 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 how do you know I'm not a father? But 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 in any case, I'm I'm not I'm I'm, yeah. I'm I'm not a father in the biological sense. Yeah. But what uh and and this is something I learned from my dad. Mm. My dad uh, he uh, would adopt a lot of people, uh, and and there was uh, when he died, uh, a cousin of mine. Uh, came to me and he said, "Listen, um, there are some men who look after themselves. Good men. There are greater men who look after themselves and their families. Mm-hmm. There are other men who their circle of influence." is so wide that it reaches past themselves, past their children and their immediate family, into their extended family, into the community, and even broader still. 
and uh, he 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 ended by saying that your father was one of the latter mm-hmm. and 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 I could I understood it because that's how I grew up my my father would take in a lot of people yeah uh, he 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 almost adopted my entire family and uh, he even I would say adopted other people's children mm-hmm. who would come to my house and feel right at home or would be with him and feel like they were with a father yeah. and um, I, I, I can identify with that because uh, that's the way I am as well uh, I've, I've got two god daughters um, I've got a niece who I raised as my own mm-hmm. um, I've got a, a bunch of students so uh, uh, w- one of the businesses that I I have is I, I develop courses and then I and I sell them oh, we'll and get to that yeah. we'll get to yeah and 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 a big part of of uh, me developing these courses is mm-hmm. <coughs> I, I I sell I sell I sell the courses to people but I uh, the frame of mind that I take on when I'm teaching is if this was my child and I want th- my legacy to live through this person, mm-hmm. what would I do? What so do I say? What, I what, do? what do I yeah. say? What do yeah. I do? How do I lead this person in order for my legacy to live through this person? Yeah, That's something I got from my dad because that's what he did. Uh, the, the the difference is I just do it through teaching yeah. and 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 in that sense I I I have a lot of children some children are even older than me yeah. uh, some children are my students some children are my nieces and nephews some children are my godchildren mm-hmm. so uh, I, I I've been I've been studying people for a very long time and I, I've even extended it to the point where uh, Francis Photo Studios yeah. uh, we are a family centric studio photo studio mm-hmm. and uh, the, 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 by our design by our target market we generally attract a lot of families so when a family walks in you need to be able to identify who's the boss who's in charge, which kid runs the show, which parent runs the show, which mm-hmm. parents is more susceptible to this kid, which kid do I need to control, and how do I need to control this kid, how, which kid do I need to allow to flow, mm-hmm. and that, 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 that sort of thing. And what, what I do is, even when I'm doing photography, I am teaching my model. And, and I adopt, especially the children, uh, the, the adults, to a lesser degree as well, but mm-hmm. uh, the, the children especially. They gravitate uh, to it? Like they really like... Well, some of them. Some of them are... Uh, pain in the ass. It's okay. W- <laughs> <laughs> you can say it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, some, so, some, of, some of them are, are, are real tools, but yeah. uh, a, a, a good number of them. And, and kids kids are incredibly receptive yeah. and, and, and they respond very well to a sense of... Le- well, the majority of them in my experience... R- respond very well to good leadership mm-hmm. uh, because uh, a, a lot of the time what we like in our homes is not anything other than good leadership yeah role model someone to really look up to right? yeah so so this kid um, you the idea in any case is um, and this is my message uh, across the board is I will allow you to be you as long as you don't abuse me. Take you for granted. Yeah, you, you, you cross the line, you cross me, and, mm. and, and you find what's on the other side of the line. And, and, and you, you, you can send those messages very subliminally uh, on a very subconscious level. Yeah. And, and, and kids are more receptive to th- those subconscious messages than adults are. But even adults get them children, in this order, uh, in my experience, it's yeah. children, it's women, and then men are just horrible at it. <laughs> men, you've got to be yeah. like, I, 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 I roll. I, <laughs> 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 
And, and, and that's the only time guys see whoa whoa okay yeah, oh calm down oh, bro okay <laughs> come, you know this, this yeah. yeah um but kids are extremely receptive to that kind of thing mm-hmm. so um uh in in bringing it back to to the question once again yes. um i i i may not be a father yet yeah. in 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 the strict biological sense mm-hmm. but i have led many children and my oh, my understanding of parenting yeah. is in large part leadership and in in and and, and uh, I I'll digress a bit I don't believe in raising children you raise a flock of sheep you you don't raise children you you cultivate them a ah. child a child is like a plant you 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 Nurture you, pre- them, you prepare water, yeah. you prepare the ground you you water them you you plant the seeds and then they just do the rest i like i like your wordplay mm. because i have a tendency of doing that too and then because i looked at you crazy i'm like whoa just ra- don't raise kids what do you mean bro yeah. <laughs> but i like i like how you really uh <sighs> elaborated more on it mm. yeah. but uh i mean like i said man you seem like you're really well read it's safe to it's mean safe to call you an author, right? Well, to uh, some um, degree, not to some degree, dude. Yeah. Um, uh, oh. I'm I'm currently writing a book. It's called um, the Theory of Moments, the and uh, of moments. I I was supposed to have published it uh, at the on the thirtieth of November last year. Um, Wait, we never spoke about this, right? I don't believe I have. I mean, I've 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 posted it out. I didn't, I didn't catch wind of it then. Y- yeah, but but I've 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 been writing a book for the last um, maybe two two years. Because uh, oh, the reason why I even asked the question is because of the business courses that you offer, which hopefully you'll get to elaborate more on it. But, dude, you're writing a fucking book. Yeah. Damn, tell me, man, you gotta explain that process to me. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck did um, that come along? What's the book called? What, what's uh, the title? So, 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 um, uh, in in uh, the book is called mm. the theory of moments, the theory and of it's moments. it's based off of this theory that I developed that By yourself that 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 helps people live a more fulfilled and enjoyable life so the the idea is a moment and uh, a lot of people don't think of moments or what a moment actually is Mm -hmm. but a moment is for example you and i sitting here and uh, i can have this conversation with you in this room, mm. sitting in the same place, we put our glasses at the same place. I put my diary here at the same place. You put your phone and your books and your glasses, and everything else can be placed the exact same way, but it's never going to be the same. I can say the exact same words in the exact same order, but the, that that moment is this moment is gone, uh, and, okay. and 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 okay. and 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 that makes it extremely valuable. It makes it extremely priceless because when when you look at how we we value things in life gold diamonds platinum we we even even the cards mm-hmm. we value them based off of how scarce or how rare uh, that thing is so scarcity uh, drives value and scarcity drives value yeah okay. so 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 the idea behind the theory of of the moment is that a moment is happening one time yeah and and i don't mean one time in a million i don't mean one time in a billion i mean it's never happening again he said that with a straight face guys (laughs) now he's got me smiling (laughs) but but the 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 the, the idea is that it it's you just don't get it back in in the million years Mm -hmm the billion years that the universe has existed and is still going to continue existing, you are not happening again. You're not happening again. Do you understand what it means that you are not happening again? And your life is 
a compilation of moments, small moments. This moment right here is a moment in time. So uh, you you live this moment, you have this conversation with me. The sun is never going to be at the same place. That tree is never going to have the same amount of leaves that it has right now. Yeah. And the moment one leaf falls, when I speak what I speak now, mm -hmm. that's a moment that's created, that's priceless. Your life is a compilation of I, a countless number, infinite number of moments because that's a moment that leaf falling down from that puny little leaf falling down and tumbling down the way it's tumbling down is never going to do that again. That is priceless in itself. Okay. Uh, and and your, your life is a compilation of these priceless moments. So one moment is already priceless. Now what happens when you've got a, a bunch of these moments together and you get a life? That's a priceless life. And to the universe... Mm -hmm your life is just a moment because the universe has seen an infinite number of 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 of, of moments and an ant's life to the universe is a moment mm -hmm. flies life to the human universe the dinosaurs if you believe in that kind of thing mm -hmm. and and it, it, but for it those things pass by like this your life to you 60 70 years feels like a lifetime yeah but to the universe it's like this because he has seen or she has seen so many of these moments that it, it just passes by and uh, uh, on interesting interestingly on that just to expand on that a, a, a bit is each year your life feels faster okay and 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 you feel like time time is just flying the older you get time the years just fly by you're just like what it was just 2020 now yeah that and, phrase and gets used a lot like time flies yes like, oh, yeah. and, and 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 the reason for that is 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 mathematical and it's very it's pretty simple okay because you are let's say i don't know what 26 yeah now at, at at 26 years old one year is a 26th of your life so if we had a circle if we had a cake and we cut it into 26 pieces mm -hmm. one one slice would equal oh, one year right uh -huh. those are a lot of slices very true but for a one-year-old kid that guy he's got a full cake bro. Yeah, you don't give a shit he's got <laughs> a, he, it feels like a life his whole life yeah. is that one year so it's a long time that's his whole experience outside of the womb hmm. that's his whole experience his whole existence uh, his whole physical existence is that one year so when he becomes two years one year becomes shorter because now it's half his lifetime. Oh, okay. By the time it becomes three, it's yeah. a third. And then it becomes a quarter, uh -huh. and then a fifth, and then a sixth, until you get to the point where it's a 26th of his life. So naturally, he's going to feel faster. Yeah. <laughs> naturally. It's, yeah. And it's, it's, a, it's, a very, it's a very simple concept. I, I read it uh, in, yeah. in, in one book many, many years ago. Uh, mm -hmm. one of, I think I might have been in high school. Uh, and 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 I remember I I read that book and I f I think I bought it the second hand shop. It's a red book with yellow writing, and it okay. uh, I don't even remember the author. And I gave it to my dad uh, after I read it. it. It's called Believing is Seeing. Believing is seeing. Yeah. So so I so the idea in the book is that is is is, uh, is is that. A lot of people believe that seeing is believing. You must first see something to believe, believe it. it yeah. But they have it the wrong way around. You have to believe it, and then you see it. Yeah, yeah. it's it's nice. it's I like it. <laughs> interesting, interesting little concept. I'm, I'm gonna look that up actually. Look, look, that look it up. It's, I, I I I I actually I think I I should uh, find that book again. I, I mean I read it. I, I bought it at a secondhand uh, book book sale. Uh, and 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 I read it and uh, I said shit. This is, I think you know it, it was grade seven. We used to do these cake sales, oh and man. at the at the <laughs> cake sale, yeah. the, the, to make some extra cash, they people would sell like these these books. And I I I remember, I had passed my grade seven. I was going to grade eight. Yeah. So to celebrate that, I thought let me get my dad a book. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's <an> odd <laughs> gift, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> right. So, so that's that's 
uh, that's how I celebrated me going to Grenier's. Was a hell of a moment. Yeah, shit. Yeah, oh man, yeah, she doesn't happen twice. Yeah. Goddamn. Well, too many stories. <laughs> yeah, shit. Fuck. No, but I, I like the concept of it. Mm. But you know, just hearing what you're talking about, and you really, really put a lot of thought into it. So my thing is, eh, how many moments did you miss out on, in order for you to actually like realize, like, whoa, I'm moving too fast. I'm not even like living in the moment i'm just every day that comes is just another day but you're not really concentrating on the beauty of what's happening today uh i i i i choose not to count those okay um because they are going to bring you nothing but misery true yeah if you've missed the thing you've missed it my friend <laughs> yeah it's, it's done now. yeah i'm sorry bro you, hey. you understand yeah but um, what does what do you think was that moment that sparked like oh wait I've I've got no idea yeah. and 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 um a, a lot of the time I'm running too fast mm-hmm. to even give myself the time to think about that uh, yeah. because I have I pick big goals like um, I've I've heard um a mentor of mine uh, Jason Capital he he says uh you shouldn't make your goals too big or you shouldn't make them too little, okay. right? Because if you if you make a goal too small, you're gonna hit it, but you're gonna it, it's a shit goal, mm. right? And if you make it too big, you're going to be demotivated to follow through. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, because it, it, it doesn't matter what you do, that goal is bloody well far, right? So, uh, but I am, and 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 this is like a. It's like a rose. It's 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 beautiful and it smells great. Looks mm. amazing, but it's got its thorns. Is I'm an extremely stubborn guy. Preach. <laughs> so 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 it w- when 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 I lock my mind onto something, I lock it. And, and it's it's, it's it's extremely useful in in entrepreneurship because that's how you see ideas through. Uh, 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 but at the same time, I mean. Uh, Jason Capital is a guy who I really respect. Um, he's taught me like a, a, a lot of a, a, a lot. He's made me pay for it. Yeah, a lot of money. Yeah, but it's uh, worth it. Huh? It's worth it, no? Yeah, absolutely. He 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 once told me. I mean, I I said to him, dude. Uh, he was he was selling this one course, it was like twenty five grand, uh, local, and and I said, dude, that that's that's a lot of money. And and I and I and I told him shit. I said, listen, um. I make X amount of money, mm-hmm. and I told him, "Sir, I said, listen, this is this is how much I make, and uh, this is how much I spend, mm-hmm. right? So what's left over is this much. Um, I would love to do the course. I see the value in it, but I simply can't afford it." And and he responded to me. He said, "He said, he said, uh, I don't sell anything that I don't value." And I promise you, if you finish the course and you think it wasn't worth it, I'll give you a full refund. I said, what? The he confidence, said, man. He said, he said, he said, yes, I'll give you a full refund and you can look me up. I've, I've, I've made the same promise and I, I will 100% give you a full refund if you don't find that this course was worth it. That's that's my brand promise. I said shit, and and he said yes. You will you will find value in this course mm-hmm. and some more. I am underpricing the course by a lot, and I, and I can tell you he's underpricing the course by at least a million bucks. It's that good. Have you met me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. that was like fucking egotistic. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. That was cocky as fuck. But I got I was, it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, you know, <laughs> have you met me? Yeah. Like, yeah. But, but 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 um, uh, it's 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 it, the guy is he's the guy's he's a fucking genius. He's he's he 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 was mentored by Dan Pena. Oh, okay. Dan Pena makes these guys pay like twenty five thousand. We're talking US. Um, uh, Jason made me pay. Uh, well, his course is priced at twenty five thousand Namibian dollars. Yeah, 
na uh, but shit it's like fuck man it's it's not worth it and 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 and, 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 and Dan Pena's a machine yeah like, like he's 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 a fucking machine he's he's this old man he's he's crazy he's oh, he's, in a he's, he's 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 horrible he's, uh, yeah. he's he's quite honestly he's a horrible guy but i love him <laughs> i think it's it's a thin line between just being a horrible person and just being like straight up and it's something you actually taught me a lot of, uh, like along the way because i used to be like man maybe i'm being a bit of a dick to people and you're like no that's just how we are and it's a matter of because my intentions are always pure i'm like I, it's never a in, thing in, of in, 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 interestingly enough uh, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to i'm just going to to to, to make a note right yeah. so uh i i do uh quite a bit of well not that much but i i, I do some reading on astrology okay and interestingly enough your birthday is on the wait on the 10th yeah you're born on the same day as Dan Pena. <laughs> For like, real? like 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 just like <laughs> I didn't even know that. like like bl- bloody 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 interesting oh wow I like and, and 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 I'm born on the 11th of August mm-hmm. and uh, and I I thought it was I thought it was like rather interesting I was like ah cuz when when <coughs> when I first started listening to to Dan Pena I asked myself why the fuck does this guy resonate with me mm. he's a dick he's an asshole he's he's said he's a sadistic egotistical foul mouth old ass <laughs> man he's full of shit right yeah. and and i said that's that's not right and and my girlfriend like like i i because i what what i do is um and 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 I'll talk about my routine later mm-hmm. uh, uh, but part of my morning routine is that I educate myself every day uh, what's the word every single day what what and I got it from Warren Buffett he says he says you must be a learning machine it was Charlie Munger Warren Buffett's business mm-hmm. model Bro, bloody machine he says because uh, I think he was once asked who, who, what he thinks Warren's superpower is. And he says, Warren is a learning machine. Hmm. Bill Gates is a learning machine. Those guys read. Those guys study. Those guys are always fucking learning. What's what's the term? Uh, Kaizen. All Kaizen. All Kaizen. Because well, uh, well, the funny thing is, now, when you're telling that shit to me, it was like deja vu, man. I know I fucking read it somewhere. Mm. And the way I actually read it was uh, The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. Brilliant book. That's where I just recently just finished it. And I'm like, oh shit, this is where I got that word from. Mm. And for those that don't know what, I just read Kaizen, just as Kaizen. Mm. So basically, it's a. Uh, how do I put it? It's basically you as an individual trying to better yourself every day improving yourself every day no matter what it is you just you, pick you, something you should, and you, you just should, continue to get better you should, at it. you should you should study uh, the japanese I, I spent a lot of time studying the japanese is the japanese culture itself yeah, yeah the, okay. the, the, the the kaizen principle yeah. is a japanese principle it's it's, uh, it's developed from the, by the japanese mm, mm. so uh, it, it, it 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 translated it it literally means continuous improvement and continuous if, if you check if you check yeah. my my twitter my twitter profile mm-hmm. my uh my banner is i am all kaizen ah i am kaizen uh, mm. and and yeah and and it's it, it's literally continuous improvement um i i i have uh my business um oh, well, one of them uh, all kaizen business developers mm-hmm. uh what what inspired the name was my I fail a lot. Okay. Like I fail a shitload. Like more times than I can count. That's for sure. Yeah. At least for myself. Yeah. I've taken and more L's than I can count. Yeah. And 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 it's it's it's. I mean, my my failure goes to the point where uh, I'm a lawyer. 
Yeah. And I shouldn't actually be a lawyer. I slipped through the cracks. <laughs> um, so at at, at, uni- okay. <laughs> at at university, right? Yeah. There's uh, this 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 principle that if you if you each degree or diploma or certificate, whatever it is, has a, a certain completion time, and if you exceed that completion time, like I think you're allowed to fail two or three times. I think three times maximum, <laughs> right? Uh, and if you fail more than that three times you get chucked out of the course yeah i i joke about it i i i say i have a phd a legal phd but it's not a joke i spent i i finished high school in 2010 okay i I graduated in 2020 Fuck. Yes. That's I'm, 10 years, I'm, dude. I'm, I'm the single longest serving <laughs> law student of the University of Namibia. I've, I've seen, I've oh seen, I, I, I've seen every class since 2020. I mean, since 2010, yeah. all the way through to 2020. Ah, uh-uh, 2019, sorry. Wow. Right. So, so w- w- what, what I took from that, because believe you me, you're not suffering, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Don't treat yourself like you're suffering. I'm <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> there. <laughs> just just do, 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 the, do the right thing. Do the right thing. I'm <laughs> there. Uh, uh, so, <laughs> um, uh, uh, sorry so about that. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Uh, yeah. So, so um, uh, a, a, a lot of the time, and, and, and I, I only made it through law school because of the kaizen principle Mm -hmm. and um i i I had to sit down with myself one day uh, because i wanted to quit like a million times and uh, because i would see guys come and go and come and go i mean these guys found me in law school they they came and and then they went and they they left me in law school they found me in law school and they left me in law school and uh it, it, it would beat on my ego because I would think to myself, but you're not a fucking idiot. Yeah, what's slowing you down? Yeah, you're not a, you're not a dumb guy. Yeah. Right, but the numbers don't lie. Ooh. And, and uh, at some point, I, I sat down and um, I remember... I remember thinking to myself, fuck, you're here, you understand? And uh, I, I struggle to read. I, I've literally over the last couple of years forced myself to learn how to read. Damn. And uh, Wait, I like, you're, like you had a, not a disability, but or it's just a thing that you have no, you have no interest in reading. No, I've always had an interest in reading. I've I've been reading books for for years. You're not dyslexic or anything, right? Mm, I was told not to call myself Part that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I'm just yeah, I'm so just so trying to get so to the bottom of it. I'm I'm yeah, bad. So, so, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, the, um, Zach uh, Kawaraitha, mm-hmm. he he. I was talking to him and I, and, I, and I said I might I think I might be dyslexic and he said, don't confuse, don't identify yourself with a condition. If you're not sure you have it, and even if you're sure you have it, don't identify yourself with it. It's, it's word association. Like yeah. words are a powerful fucking thing. Words, guys. words, words are extremely, extremely powerful. Yeah, man. Uh, so, so w- w- because you pick up all the characteristics of even if you don't have them, True. you you might have one. Like you struggle to read. But it doesn't uh, make you any less of a fucking human being, no? Well, it doesn't make you a dyslexic. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. I, 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 I simply have. An extremely short. I'm not gonna say what I'm about to say. Okay. But <laughs> I have been I have been learning yeah. to to concentrate, mm. to focus, to pay attention, and um, uh, uh, it, it 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 stemmed it stemmed from this need to to finish 
things that I started like I've I've read a million books right mm-hmm. but I haven't finished a million books yeah okay like um the, and and it was it was interesting enough it was Zach again uh, I I call him my son actually <laughs> but the, the, the little bugger teaches me more than uh, yeah, even yeah like he's crazy okay. uh, 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 so so he, he and and we were having this discussion and, and I told him I said I've I've read a million books but I haven't finished that many and he said hmm there's something there and I said what do you mean there's something there he said there's very likely something there because how is it because you're, you're not an idiot you clearly enjoy reading because you like stories but you don't finish things how and then he asked me how many things don't you finish and it got me curious because i've got this principle that it's um very difficult near impossible to separate yourself from yourself so uh i i i i i, I and and it's based off of the way you operate in one sector of life is very likely the way you will operate in other sectors of your life like if you're a fucking douchebag mm-hmm. to your girlfriend you're going to be a fucking douchebag at work <laughs> and you're going to be a fucking douchebag <laughs> to whoever and you're going to be a douchebag to whoever mm-hmm. if you're lazy at work you're very likely going to be lazy <laughs> at home at home <laughs> <laughs> and, and 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 a whole lot of other places right mm-hmm. so it's extremely difficult near impossible to separate yourself from yourself yeah and and uh uh, it got me thinking because he he asked me he said what else don't you finish and i said <coughs> school yeah <laughs> and i said shit yeah. you know what you need to finish some shit you need to finish some shit not for anybody else not for nothing else just for the sake of fucking finishing it and uh, a couple months later i finished a book at the time i was reading insanely gifted I, i read it like three co- and i have a tendency of reading things like three quarters of the way mm-hmm. uh, i i read so before I, i i i picked up insanely gifted i i was reading um it didn't start with you it's a book on um in uh, uh, inherited family trauma and how to mm. stop the cycle i didn't finish it and i bought this new book insanely gifted by jamie cato brilliant book mm-hmm. interestingly enough he's born on the 13th or is it the 12th august. of august and uh, like like so so interesting story i digress mm-hmm. uh i I'm in, i'm in cape town for my cousin's wedding in 2018 and mm-hmm. I, i i i go into this bookstore on canal walk and i'm looking for a book by tony robbins master something something mm-hmm. brilliant guy yeah uh but i'm looking for this tony robbins book check out the book then maybe they can audit for you as well Yeah, yeah they 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 probably could. yeah thank you yeah. and and I, and I'm walking through the aisles right and this book this fucking book like the spine is uh, it's fucking it's got green red orange and yellow and black and it just it just stands out because every every other book when you look at the spine right mm-hmm. it's it's a solid color maybe two colors at most mm-hmm. and i'm walking through the aisle and i'm looking for to- and this book hits me and i said whoa what the and it hit me from far like from far bro like you spotted it and already and i said what the hell is that yeah i want that i don't know what that is but i want that and <laughs> I, and i walk over the aisle, i pull it out and and i and i look at the book and it, 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 its cover has got this thing whatever it is it's an animal <laughs> okay whatever the fuck it is Right. It's an animal though. Yeah. yeah. So it it looks it's got a it's got it's got human features. It's got two eyes, it's got a nose, it's got a mouth. Mm-hmm. And it's got these uh, it, uh Medusa is a stretch, but it's got like these spines mm-hmm. over its over its head. Mm-hmm. It's got it's got two two arms or arm looking things and two feet looking things and it's short. And it's floating. You can you you it's a black it's on a black background but you can tell that it's it's very likely either in water or some other because it's floating yeah. right and the book reads insanely gifted the the words are are in the same order i mean the same colors as the spine right and i said what what the fuck is that and you can tell it's a baby 
yeah. like whatever it is it's a baby and 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 at the bottom of the book it reads how to turn your demons into how to turn your demons into uh, an incredible fuel power fuel or something right oh, okay and 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 the the moment i saw first of all the spine caught me and then i saw this thing whatever it is and then i read the words and i said the the, the, the image that that i was given was listen i'm good at getting attention number one, that's the spine and this thing whatever it is that's on the cover you've got no idea what it is you've never seen it before yeah it's a baby demon Whatever that can f- grow into anything i think it is rocket fuel or something and mm. it and, and 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 the message i got was that this thing you might not know what it is but you can turn it into whatever you want because Tricks that's what yours. you do with kids yeah. i said fuck i'm buying that book <laughs> I said, I said, I'm buying that book. And, and while I was standing there, uh-huh. I, 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 I'm looking at this book and, 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 and I walk and I'm pacing up and down and I read the back of the book and I say, okay, you know what? I'm buying this bloody book because I read, I read, I read like the, the, the uh, epilogue or prologue or whatever it is at the back of the book. Okay. And what I do is I often open just like a random page and I read and I said, yes, I'm buying this book. And I look down and I see another book. It's black and orange, and it's by John Malorta. Mm-hmm. He's uh, a negotiation expert. Okay. Malorta, yeah. And I, I say, okay, well, I like to negotiate, <laughs> and and the book is called Negotiating the Impossible. And at the time, I was, uh, oof. I was negotiating. I st- I'm still in negotiating. Oh, you've been negotiating, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, so, so, so I thought, okay, you know what? And, and I didn't have much of a budget. I think I had like, I had like maybe 600, 500 bucks to spend on these books. Mm-hmm. And um, Malorta's book was, was quite cheap. I think it was uh, maybe 200 or less. Jamie Cardo's was, was, was pricey even. And, and I was thinking to myself, I've never heard of this guy. Ever. I've never heard of this guy. Um, I, I, he's an unknown author. And his book is so fucking expensive. Like, what the fuck am I doing? And something just said, buy it. Nice. And when I get that kind of intuitive push, I, I, don't, I don't ask questions. I buy. You see, because with you, it's something I've come across... Um, I don't know where the fuck I read it, but it was a thing of people determine value. So like when you price your thing, so let's say this painting is worth hundred grand. Mm. At least you are smart enough to be like, why? At least you are smart enough. At least some people are actually like smart enough to ask themselves, why? What is it about it, it that it makes it, it that it special? There's, 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 there's this book I read mm. um, a couple of years ago when we were when we started Francis Photo Studios. I think we were about a year or two in, and uh, the book is called "How to Make Big Money in Your Small Business." <laughs> Small little book, and uh, I picked it up. I don't even remember where. Mm-hmm. It called out to me as well, and and I read it. it it's got like super short chapters. It's like it's 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 for it it was designed for a guy like me <laughs> <laughs> straight to the point yeah like like his his chapters are maybe like three pages long bro yeah. i think it, i think the the monk no the, anyway yeah, yeah, yeah. so w- one of the principles in that i learned from this book was um and i never finished that one by the way i need to finish it another thing you need to finish that's the next book i'm going to yeah. finish <laughs> um, so it, it w- one of one of the principles in there was um you don't determine your price i mean it, your, your, your quality oh yeah you don't determine your quality that's not up to you to do you can do your best work and give it to the client and depending on where the client is mentally you can see this complete utter bullshit and you can do at the same time 
and this I learned practically, your shit is to work and give it to the client and mm-hmm. the client don't say anything, just present it. Mm-hmm. Give give your work and then and then wait for the client to respond. Respond. And uh, 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 the, the principle in the book is you don't determine your quality. It's not your job to do that. That's the client's job. You do your best mm-hmm. and you give the client what you give the client. And I remember doing this shoot um, the same year that I read this book. And I did this shoot. Ah, it was shit. I felt like it was, it was horrible. At the time, it was just Francis and I. Mm-hmm. And he, he like, the, I shot... I and 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 I look at those pictures. I said, "Wow, this is horrible." <laughs> Fran- Fran- Francis and I were, were were always in this um, competitive space. Yeah, and and he saw those pics, mm-hmm. and he ran through them. He ran through them, and he said, "Oh my god!" Because I like so. And at the time, I remember I was reading the book, so yeah. I was I was on this shit of okay. I'm, I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just going yeah. to give it him. That's what he's. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and and so I I gave I gave him this. Um, this uh this book and i mean i gave him the images and he ran through them and he said yeah you are costing <laughs> i said i said ah shit Even uh, he knew. Uh, i said shit he can see <laughs> yeah, it he too. can see it okay and and it, it is what it is we're like fuck you know what mm. let's give the client so we edited the pics and uh we gave the client it was it was the engagement shoot they were getting married that oh, wow. uh yeah, so it, it was like in my head it was a major fuck up, and I I gave this guy these images, and uh, I was thinking to myself, oh, shit, this is a disappointed client, and this guy sees these images and calls me back and he says, listen, um, these are the greatest photos I've ever seen in my life, <laughs> I've never seen anything <laughs> like it, thank you so much, your service was great, you were patient, you just did everything the way you were supposed to do it, how? And in your mind, you're like, but I fucked up. <laughs> That's I, fucking I, crazy. I, I, I put down, I put down that phone call, and, and I was thinking to myself, what the fuck <laughs> just happened? Just happened, <laughs> right? And the next time I picked up the book, yeah, because I hadn't even thought of it at the time. Mm-hmm. Next time I picked up the book, it hit me. And 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 uh, and I said shit. Okay, well, that principle makes sense. It it works both ways. Mm-hmm. It's it's not just you putting out your best quality and allowing or you doing your best mm-hmm. and allowing the client to choose. You can even do your worst. It's still up to the client to choose. So uh, immediately when that happened, I, I I called Francis. I said, dude. Um, uh, so I've been reading this book, and uh, this is what the book says so let us stop you don't comment you don't comment you just give the fucking work and you let the client decide and to this day it's one of our guiding principles in in business man that's trippy yeah because recently i was struggling i'm not struggling necessarily it's just i was back and forth with this logo i'm doing so it's for a barbershop I'm still conflicted about it, but one night I'm like, okay, fuck it. I'm just gonna send it through. Mm. And it's weird. The funny, the fact that you told that story is actually weird because I didn't say anything. I just sent three samples. I'm like, here you go. Let me know what you think. In my head, I hated all of them. Mm. Fucking, I was like, this is my worst job yet. Mm. <laughs> to my surprise. <laughs> He liked both of them. He's like, I like two of these are like awesome. I'm like, can you work with these more? I'm like, oh. So I'm like, I started to realize maybe I'm just overthinking this shit. It's not. It's not. It's not your tr- like. Like, I, it, it happens with me all the time. Like, um, I I, I wrote, I wrote this one piece, uh, um, maybe three, four years ago, right? Mm. Um, it's called. Um, it's on my Instagram. A, a, a blank piece of paper. I, I'll I'll tag you. Okay. And uh, at the time, she wasn't my girlfriend. But in any case, I, I wrote it. And uh, I wrote it for her. But I, I, I like I, at the time, I, I hadn't been... Th- that's when I actually started uh, putting my work out there. 
Uh, because I would just ride, and I thought I thought I thought my riding was horrible. And this was how long ago? It was. Um, give me a moment. Let me right. let me check my my Instagram. Take your time. So it it's like, I I I I wrote I wrote this thing, and I mean, well, I just I I, I would always write. I've been writing for for my my whole life. I I've, I've been writing love letters and shit. Horrible, yeah. horrible stories. Actually, actually I, asked, I asked this question before. Um, when was the last time you wrote a love letter to a girl or a dude? <laughs> uh, it's not that long ago. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. But so that shit is like really yeah, I write to my girlfriend all the time. I I like writing. So so this was on the 9th of January 2019, right? Mm. I, I, I remember writing. I wrote this around about October, maybe November. Mm-hmm. But I just wrote it, and she just popped onto my mind. At the time, she was just my friend. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I was even going through a heartbreak. Uh, Damn. Yeah, life. <laughs> so, so, uh, so she popped into my head because she was she was really supportive throughout the entire thing. Mm-hmm. So, uh, she popped into my head, and 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 and, and, uh, and I started writing. And I wrote to a blank piece of paper. I had always been afraid to welcome you into my world, and for me to enter yours. That's not because I don't love you, but because of fear. Fear of tainting a white page with black ink. You see, you're like a blank white page, a pure soul, and I never wanted the I never wanted to be the ink that left a stain on such a beautiful thing. I was afraid of being a writer, of you being of being your writer. But as it turns out, you shouldn't fight fate. Because you see, I am a writer. I love to write. I live to write. And I love and I like and like a fly drawn to a rotting car, and mm-hmm. take your time. But as it turns out, you shouldn't fight fate, because you see, I am a writer. I love to write. I live to write, and like a fly drawn to a, to rotting carcasses, I am a writer drawn to blank pages. What I end up writing, I will never know until the ink is all over the pages. But I promise to write. And I promise to love every moment of it. And just as the writer is drawn to blank pages, blank pages are drawn to writers. And so I promise you will love it too. Like two pieces of cloth strung together by a needle and a thread of destiny. By the needle and thread of destiny, we are part of a written story, you as paper and me as a writer. Find your passion, find your paper, and once you do, write like your life depends on it. Because it does. Right, so I wrote that shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I wrote, I wrote that shit. Yeah. And 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 and, and like most writers that I've had, uh, artists, mm-hmm. uh, Toltec. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna look that up, my brother? Trust me. I'll, I'll write, I'll write that down. Yeah. Check it out. <laughs> uh, 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 most artists mm-hmm. are insecure about their creations and, yeah. and 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 that got very me true. very very curious about god hmm. the creator of all things yeah because god is tread lightly i need to, <laughs> to tread lightly <laughs> I didn't read lightly. Because <laughs> 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 you understand. Uh, so, 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 God is the artist. He's the Toltec, mm-hmm. right? And uh, I, 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 I got curious. I said, "Oh, if I'm a Toltec and I am insecure about my work and I'm created in the image of God." Mm-hmm. And everybody else, when they see my work, are in awe of it. Yeah. What does God go through? Because he created all of this. Have you seen the... There's no fucking way this shit happened by accident. I mean, have you seen this place? God damn. Have you... Have you... Have you seen how this thing works? It's not perfect. It's far from perfect. It's shockingly imperfect. But... Yeah... It's amazing. It's freaking amazing. And, 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 and it got me curious. I said, I bet God's a very insecure guy. 
You think? <laughs> I said, I said, I don't know. You who, think so? What, where, or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, a there's one. a lot of insecurity there. Because I feel like, I think I feel like, okay. The way you, now that you said that, I'm just thinking to myself. He's probably past that stage. You don't pass it, my brother. You don't think so? I'm still in the. <laughs> you, you know, I'm 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 a motivator, and 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 you should you should look up the Dunning Kruger effect. Actually, interestingly, what's uh, it called? Daniel Dunning Dunning D U N N I N G Dunning Kruger. Yeah, Dunning Kruger effect. So Dun K K yes. okay Kruger. So it's it's um it's 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 a psychological condition. Mm. Dunning is one psychologist and Kruger's the other. They worked on the on the thing together. I'm familiar with Kruger actually. Yeah. Right? So 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 how how it works is, um, this this idea that the dumber you are, dumber is the wrong word to use, but the dumber you are, mm-hmm. the more intelligent or more competent and capable you think you are. Uh, people who mm. are more capable. And more intelligent and smarter, generally think that they are horrible and suck at shit. Hmm. Yeah. So so uh, they 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 started studying it after a curious case there. Uh, so what what happened was uh, uh, this this guy I forgot his name now. He's a robber, fucking idiot. <laughs> 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 fucking he idiot. just had to. <laughs> yeah, he, so he he wo- he walks into a bank, robs the bank, mm-hmm. and walks out. No mask, nothing. Smiles at the camera on his way out. That's gangster. Walks <laughs> into another bank. What? Does the same damn shit. Smiles at the fucking camera on his way out. And uh, the cops were like, I bro. So that night they picked him up. Mm-hmm. And, and when they caught him, he was genuinely shocked. He was like, what the fuck? What? <laughs> like, how the fuck you guys catch me? You're kidding me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like, how the fuck you guys catch me? Mm-hmm. I had the juice. And those were his words. He said, I had the juice. Mm. I said, what? He said, I had the juice. So what he did was he had um, smeared lemon juice on his face, uh, uh, believing that it would make him Invisible? Yes, because lemon juice is one of the properties used in invisible ink. And and huh. and, and, and what 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 Dunning and Kruger found very interesting okay. was was not so much that he got caught, but like the guy was genuinely genuinely surprised that he got caught. He actually oh, he, he genuinely thought he was he was invisible. So so they started studying the 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 concept of the, or they started studying it was 1995 so they started studying w- what was behind this guy's gen because like throughout like this guy was like no man it's not possible that's fucking crazy right so so they started studying this mm-hmm. and 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 their findings prove that the sharper you are the because it, and and, and it's, it's it's really simple also because uh, y- you know how much you don't know. Mm-hmm. The more you know, the more you know you don't know. If you've ever heard the saying, no. And <laughs> and 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 it, it the the less you know mm-hmm. about something about the field of study, the less you think there is, and the less you think there is, the more you think you know about that specific thing. You think because if you think if you think that uh, there are only Ten things to learn in the world, and you know eight of them. Jesus, you must be fucking smart, because mm. you know eight out of ten. But if I know a hundred, and I know this hundred that I know is only fucking this a hundred thousand more things to know, yeah. I still know more than you. But because I know that there's a hundred thousand more things to know. I only know a fucking hundred. It, it gets me thinking, oh, shit, man. I I must not know that much and everybody else knows what I know. Yeah. And, and, and the situation is only made worse when a fucking idiot who knows 10 things, who knows 8 out of 10, comes along with all his fucking confidence saying, mm-hmm. yeah, I know. And so, so this guy who knows 100 is thinking, oh, shit, okay. 
You know what that guy probably knows more than me? Because there's a hundred fucking thousand things to know. And that guy is confident. So he must know at least 10,000, at least mm-hmm. 10,000. In actual fact. He just knows eight out of 10. So, 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 uh, I, and, and, and when, when I came across the principle, it, it, it actually really helps me with my, uh, with my insecurity because I, 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 I tell people, I, 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 and people find it strange that, that, that I say I'm an extremely insecure guy and, and, and I use my insecurity because I, I understand where insecurity comes from. Mm. The more you know, the more you know, you don't know. I know a lot of shit, but I know that it ain't shit. That's like me flipping. Because I always tell people, just because people tell you that it's a flaw, doesn't necessarily make it a flaw. It is they a just flaw. Do, they just don't like it. But, but, if, but you f- if you flip that shit on them, it's, it's, it's like a rose. Yeah. Every, everything's got, everything's got, uh, it's roses and thorns. Um, uh, Gilbert, Elizabeth Gilbert calls it shit sandwiches in, hmm. uh, the book is called Big Magic. Yeah. And she says, she says, Everything you do has a shit sandwich with it or in it. Mm. And you must eat the shit sandwich. You must accept the shit sandwich because that comes with it. Every rose has its thorns. It is mm. just, that's just how, hey, that guy's got a sense of humor. Yeah, I'm actually pitching it right now. <laughs> uh, but for those guys, for those that are actually wondering what the Dunning uh, Kruger effect mm. is, I'm going to try and read it out to you guys and hopefully you guys will get the idea. Uh, so basically, the Dunning-Kruger effect is a cognitive bias in which people with low ability at a task overestimate their ability. You got that? Is a cognitive bias in which people with low ability at the task overestimate their ability. Uh, it is related to the cognitive bias of illusionary superiority and comes with people's inability to recognize their lack of ability mm. without the self-awareness of meta cognition people cannot objecti- objectively evaluate their level of competence so just in case you guys are wondering what the dunning and kruger effect is that's what it is and it doesn't make sense to me to be honest and with and you and, and, but and uh, in, in, in understanding that actually yeah. it's, it's 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 really a thing of Amen. You 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 as a human being mm-hmm. will never be able to accurately assess yourself, and it's it's in in the same way that a fire cannot tell you how hot it is. How <laughs> the fuck? Oh, you're gonna have to feel it for yourself. <laughs> yeah, you can tell a fire how hot it is. Yeah, because hey, fuck, goddamn, this shit burned me. Yeah, but a fire, how? <laughs> how? Water mm-hmm. will never be able to tell you. The ocean will never be able to tell you how deep it is. True. You can't know yourself. How? You are your very self. How? It means whatever formulation or th- this, my understanding of it is mm-hmm. that whatever formulation you come up with is very likely inaccurate. I'm not saying don't come up with formulations about yourself because they are important. Identity is 100% important. Mm-hmm. It's what we teach in one of our courses. But it's very likely <laughs> inaccurate. <laughs> and the, 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 the dumber you are, yeah. the Dunning-Kruger effect tells you that the dumber you are, the sharper you think you are. And the sharper you are, the dumber you think you are. You're Damn. here and you think you're there mm-hmm. and you're there and you think you're here. It's, it's, a, crazy, it's a crazy concept, yo. Yeah. But it actually makes sense. Okay, to be honest, guys, when I read it, it didn't make sense. So the fact that Jonas actually explained, or he actually gave me a story behind it before the whole, before I actually got the whole definition, it makes sense. It really, really does. Mm. So, but... Nah, because clearly we dove deep into things that were not had. We had no business. Did we, into did, they don't even like did, 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 did we really? I feel like I, I feel like we didn't do shit. Oh, I think we. Oh, I think we dove. I think <laughs> like, no, no, like on 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 on, on gen, genuinely, you know, Francis has got this thing. Um, 
every time I hit him with some bullshit like that, mm. he, he says, you're not deep, you know that, right? And I say, <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and Francis sounds like a hater or something. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> so, and, 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 and I always say, yeah, <laughs> that was shallow as fuck. And he, and he just gives me this look like, ah, this motherfucker. But what, what he doesn't appreciate is, and, and, and I figured out um, that it's probably the Dunning-Kruger effect at play mm-hmm. because I actually don't see it as uh, Bob Marley in one interview he, he 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 was asked uh how does it feel to be famous uh. and, 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 and he said i'm not famous to me okay and 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 and, and y- you you can tell after he said that the interviewer was even more intrigued but he wasn't joking and and i i picked it up because i don't believe in jokes People mm-hmm. think I'm joking when I say that. I don't get it. But anyway, uh, he said, I'm not famous to me. And, and that's an important thing to understand, especially if you're considering a concept like the Dunning-Kruger effect. Bob Marley was a machine. That guy knew shit that, like, what the hell? Have you, have you listened to Bob Marley's music? His art was music, but the man was a genius. I have an album right there. Check it out. Uh, the Confrontation. Bob Marley and the Wailers. And and wait, uh, um, um, so so Patrick has got this album on one of his shelves here. Yeah. And I'm just going to pick it up and um, I'm going to do a quick assessment because, yeah. yeah. Check out the lyrics. <coughs> the, lyrics the lyrics are behind. The, 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 the lyrics are, I don't doubt it. But I think so you can pick out one or two songs. So, 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 so explain so, that. So, explain it to so them. on, let me just turn this mic here. Yeah? yeah. So on, on, on the cover of it's a it's a record by the way this mm-hmm. motherfucker classic uh, vinyl <laughs> <laughs> right we in playing so so on the cover you've got this purple dragon this massive purple dragon they are in a circle right and it, there's clearly some kind of japanese theme on here mm-hmm. and uh, it's a purple dragon that is leaning back it's it's clearly under attack and uh, coming at the dragon is bob marley um, Mm -hmm. a dreadlocked guy with some kind of badge on his back Mm -hmm. warrior badge clearly his dreads are flying all over the place he's on a white horse there we go that is on what do you call it when it's on his hind legs healing Whatever. Whatever the fuck giddy up is, <laughs> giddy up <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, giddy up <laughs> and, 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 and he's got a, he's got a spear. He looks like a like an English an English knight, right? Mm-hmm. It's the image of a knight, and he's he's got a spear right in the heart of this purple dragon, and, and it's this called the confrontation. There we go. It's called the freaking confrontation, and. I, I, I don't I don't even know what which album this is because I don't know Bob Marley albums like that. Mm-hmm. But I can I can I'm willing to bet you that the lyrics on this are extremely confrontational. He's not joking. Oh, there's one song you definitely know. Uh, okay, so believe me, there's the, let me just quickly run through the the the, 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 the songs on here. Mm-hmm. This chant down Babylon, mm-hmm. Buffalo Soldier. I definitely know. There we go. <laughs> uh, what else? Jump, Nyambing. I'm definitely going to look these songs up. <laughs> mix up, mix up is the next one. Yeah. Give thanks and praises sounds interesting. Black man redemption sounds very confrontational. Mm-hmm. Trench Town. I know Trench Town. Stick necked fools. Woo. Very confrontation. <laughs> I know. Ha la la. Yeah. Ooh. Rasta man live up. And that's it. And if you if if you look at 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 the oh, I'm 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 probably gonna take a picture of this. Nah, nah. And and the what what really stands out to me mm-hmm. is the letters 
if you if you see he's 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 got these letters that are in in in, in caps, they're, they're, like they're in bold, caps yeah. and they're really large mm-hmm. and their font like every all the, the the font of the rest of the lyrics is regular i guess ish mm-hmm. well it's not regular but it's small right but it's it's very biblical and it's english yeah right so you've even got i don't know what letter this is but there's a cross in there mm-hmm. there's a cross in there too I mean, th- these are extremely dramatic uh, imagery of letters, yeah, uh, and and it it, it 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 calls out to you. So I w- I would listen to this, not because of the artist, mm-hmm. but because of the image that he creates. So that's the W. Ah. The whalers, yeah. yes. So, so it, 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 it for for me, I become curious when I see things like that because it's why would you put a cross in, and 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 you see what he's done, he it's it, it so it's a, it's a W, that the 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 two outside pillars of the W mm-hmm. go almost around in a circle, and the center one forms a cross i find that curious i've got no idea what that means Mm -hmm. but it strikes my curiosity and that was very intentional there's no no way that happened by accident so when 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 you think of of guys like like bob marley this was an extremely intentional guy Mm -hmm. so if he's going to do something like that you know that it's not accidental you know that yeah, it sure. didn't just happen. He he was he was uh, the probably way like really involved in the whole um, very likely artwork. Very likely. So he's he's very likely reaching out to someone like me, who would pay attention to detail like that. Like what the hell? And what does all of this mean? Why? Because now that I look at it, I feel like it probably gonna form a word. Yes, very or likely some kind of message. Well, it b- it could be, it could not be, but. I find it very curious because they are very extremely outstanding. Man, we're on some conspiracy shit right now. W G U S R W. Huh. Okay, guys, right now we're on some conspiracy shit. We're trying to decode (laughs) an album. We're just trying. You'll very likely never get it unless you find an interview of him speaking. But for a guy like me, that doesn't stop me from from finding out from running. I'll never find out. But just because I'll never find out doesn't mean I should not run. I'm Man, it's like a post I put out the other day. Conspiracies will get you all the way fucked up. Mm. But even inside the cover looks really dope. Like, this is like a full-on war happening. And that's Ethiopia versus, I think, Italians. Because I was looking at the flags. And, yeah. This is deep. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. But uh, I got a lot more actually than a lot of stuff, because for me, like with, especially with album covers, apart from the artists themselves, mm-hmm. it's really about the artwork. Like Led Zeppelin, I never fucking listened to Led Zeppelin in my life until Ooh. Led Zeppelin. It's a is group. Is that that stuff up there? Yeah, I just that, like that, that. That that that's imagery as well. Yeah, I just loved it. I started listening to some of their songs, and surprisingly, I know a few. Hmm. Okay, this is solely based off the artwork and the people involved. Uh, what is that? Uh, it's black Black Rhyme Organization to Help Equal Rights. It's basically liberation struggle songs. Mm. Correct? <laughs> no, I'm not going to be correct. And, 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 <laughs> and, and you know what, what? What's very interesting mm-hmm. about things like that, right? You, yeah. you, you hear the pain of. The, the message of pain mm. of the people and that's why um, music like Bob Marley's music uh, lasts or passes the test of time I mean uh, Bob Marley's music was relatable back then and it's still relatable today because yeah. pain is never gonna go anywhere especially when it fucking continues yeah so, so but uh now continue you wanna say something yeah uh, well uh, uh, y- 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 when you speak 
the truth. Mm-hmm. The truth is 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 a transcending thing. It never fades. It doesn't die. Uh, and 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 you will always have pain. You will always have suffering. Mm-hmm. You will always have joy. You will always have peace. You will always have comradeship. You will always have time. So when you speak about things like that, when you sing about things like that, it, it doesn't matter which time or era of, you're in, of yeah. age. It doesn't matter. You're, you're, you're going to relate to it. There's, there's this one thing I read um, uh, and internalized from uh, The Richest Man in Babylon. And if you haven't read that book, I advise you read it. It's a small little book about... 120 something pages. Uh, it was recommended to me actually. Uh, my friend, yeah. if you want to be rich, mm-hmm. <laughs> don't tell me read that book. <laughs> don't say that. So, to be such a cliche. <laughs> In any anyway, anyway, <laughs> uh, uh, and 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 what what uh, the guy what the, what the guy says uh-huh. is that when the energy of youth meets the wisdom of the ages. There's a lot of power. And he goes on to say, the same sun that was shining when your forefathers were alive is the same sun that is shining today. And it's the same sun that will shine when your son's son's sons are alive. Now, damn. <laughs> I, 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 I read that and, and I put the book down and said, what fuck, what, what? And it, the, the, the entire book is written in story form pretty much the same way the monk who sold his Ferrari is oh, written. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but the idea behind that or what I took from that was that there are certain immutable laws or principles mm-hmm. and, and in law it's the same there, there's what we call the divine law, natural law and those laws it doesn't matter my friend it doesn't matter I can I can I, I, I can go in the 1900s, I can go in the 1800s, the 1300s or the 2020s or the 2050s mm. or the 2000s or the 2100s doesn't matter those things will always be true unless you evolve yeah to such a degree that we have not seen yet if you jump off a six story building my brother you are going to hit the ground <laughs> <laughs> do not play with it that was dark <laughs> you are going to hit the ground <laughs> And some <laughs> things are going to happen when you hit the ground. Yeah. You will be lucky to survive. That's immutable. Now, yeah, unless we learn, and this is where we bring in evolution, because we are evolving, and unless we evolve to such an extent that our current physical form becomes more malleable mm-hmm. or flexible, we can hit the ground and not fucking break because... Right now, our bones are brittle. My friend, you are not going to end well. You will hit the ground. The laws of gravity, they don't fuck around. And, un- and until we learn how to transcend those laws, the result will be the same. When you learn how to transcend it, great. But that law brings about its own consequences that are also immutable because if you want to be able to jump off six stories and hit the ground Mm -hmm. and just bounce like a fucking or land like a feather you have to employ specific laws so yeah which i never seen before but speaking of law man i just want to know man how, how do you feel about the current situation with our top notch lawyer I don't feel like saying his name, but how do you feel about him right now? How much I think I say his man's name? a machine. He, he reminds of a machine. I think the man's a machine. You think so? Um, uh, 
if we're talking about the same person the man's machine <laughs> yeah, i don't feel like saying his name right now the man uh, listen, listen but i've 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 had the pleasure of working directly with him oh okay <laughs> but because i had this conversation with a couple of lawyers man and my thing was always from an ethical perspective what he's involved in right now well i mean clearly (sighs) along the way something went i won't say it went wrong but something came up which kind of forced him in the situation that he's in right now but from a lawyer's perspective what situation is he in right now what situation is in he's involved in a scandal is he okay if you're going to be technical about it no but (laughs) but just from a just okay just me being a human being uh, just a a civilian looking from the from the outside looking in it doesn't look good in regards to his reputation it just doesn't look good um i'm not gonna say it's gonna stop him from you know achieving other other things but it's gonna. It it has made me question where he stands. Really, I I I I I as regards the reputation. Mm-hmm. Yes, there are many things that will taint your reputation, reputation. especially when you're flying that high. Mm-hmm. I've worked with the men. Yeah, my friend. The guy, he's, 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 he's meticulous. You give him something, he, 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 I, I've developed what I call the badger mentality. Mm-hmm. And, and a lot of people, uh, you developed the, the, the billionaire king logo mm-hmm. and, uh, the animation with this lion roar. Yeah. So uh, w- w- what I've realized over the last couple of months is that a lot of people have uh, uh, have created the image of me as a lion because of that. Based uh, on the animation. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there's, there's a roar. <laughs> nice. And, 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 oh, of and, course. And, 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 and there's, there's, there's this whole imagery of the Lion King in there. So it makes sense. I, I don't blame yeah, them at all, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, but my spirit animal, and and we have it at, at at FPS, is that when you join the FPS team, you you pick an animal that you believe best aligns with your character. Mm-hmm. I am the badger, the honey badger, and the strength of the honey badger is that. I mean, it's it's got a lot of uh, amazing characteristics. Its its Very immune true. system is out of this world. I mean, mm-hmm. this this guy attacks king cobras. He he gets bitten. He just makes sure he bite. He kills the damn thing. Goes to bed for around two hours and gets up and kills and and continues to. I mean, eats the the bloody cobra. His immune system neutralizes the toxins of almost everything. Yeah. Right, oh, you put me onto the. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't know the honey badger was at first. Yeah, and 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 on top of that, it, it's got one of the toughest skins. True. Uh, I mean, I I once watched this video of a, of a honey badger going in uh, a, a against. I think it was uh, three young male lions, mm. and it, it, this honey badger was walking, uh, and it's it's proud as hell tail in the end it's got this walk and and it comes across these three lions any other animal would have run for its life yeah. and clearly these uh, lions didn't understand what a honey badger <laughs> was because they thought ah we're going to kill this little bugger we're three mm-hmm. and he's puny so they went in and and that honey badger stood its ground and and it it, it tore them to shreds it it, it was just it, it, they would bite and it would just like the moment one caught it, it would just like attack and just like rip. It's got claws and it would just rip and bite and it, they, 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 they eventually quit. Yeah. Right. Three Fully adolescent grown, lions. Yeah. I think I've seen that video. Yeah. Guys, and if you want to know what an asshole is, 
Switch up a honey bed, you can stay yeah. lying. These motherfuckers do not care. Yeah, they don't give a shit. <laughs> like, like they say, listen, okay, you know what? Yeah. You're three lions, fuck you. Even what? the way it walked through it, I'm like, yeah, yes. yo. <laughs> and, 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 and I uh, align myself with the badger mentality because I don't give a shit who you are, how you are. You may beat me, you may hurt me, you may kick me down, you may have more money than me, you may have more power than me, you may have every other advantage over me. My friend, it's me or you. And I'm telling you, I'm going to choose me every Maybe. single time. There we go. I'm making it out. That's true. I am. I don't care. I'm not focused on you. I don't give. If you want to die mm-hmm. and you say, listen, I'm going to kill you or die. You are dying. If you kill me, I'm dead. Shab. It is what it is. But my friend, I definitely chose me. Do you think uh, Marshall... Let me finish. Let oh, me finish. Okay. And Sisa. Mm-hmm. Jesus. The man's a badger. He's, he's, he's a fucking... He's a badger. He, he, the guy is relentless. The, the guy... He, he, Sunday. Yeah. Sunday. The man's working. He's hustling. He's pushing. Public holiday. He's pushing like um I I did an internship with him uh, December last December 2020, mm-hmm. and um uh, we had a year end on the Wednesday before the 10th of December year end function, mm-hmm. and the Thursday was the public holiday. And the even 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 the year end function was placed strategically because it's it it's it, it we we worked the entire day Wednesday and at night we had the year end function. Thursday was no work for most of the office. Mm-hmm. That guy was in the office on the Thursday and he, he so we sat there and we spoke, we spoke, we spoke and he he, he was working on this monumental case. And he, he, he was sitting with these guys and he said, okay, uh, you guys don't uh, don't overdo tonight. Have fun, relax, eat, drink. But tomorrow, 9 o'clock, we're in the office. I was like, what? <laughs> and I said, can I join? And he said, yeah, sure. As long as you know that when you get there, it's not to look pretty. It's not to play. We are working. I said, okay. You know, like I said, I had conversations with a couple of lawyers. And they all said, look, man, I'm not doubting his capabilities or anything like that. I'm just trying to be... I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck happened, really. You know? I, think he's, a, I think he's a brilliant lawyer because I've, the, I've the, been seeing... The, 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 the law is clear. Mm-hmm. Um, he was accused... Mm-hmm. And he defended himself, yeah. and the law found that he was entitled to his defense, mm-hmm. and his defense was right in law. It's crazy. So now he did, he did what he had to do. Okay, clearly he's a badger. He's a badger. So un, 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 until you can prove me otherwise. Till that happens. And what do you think about the whole situation of our president? I think our president is an Being allegedly one. accused of being the boss of bosses. Because I won't even lie to you. That fucking headline caught my attention. Uh, I, I think our president is, 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 is an interesting one. I mean, obviously, until proven guilty, he's, yes. he's an innocent man. Uh, and... and uh, I I will not reason any <laughs> other way. Okay. Uh, but I think he he finds himself overall from from day one. Uh, I think of all the presidents, all Namibia's presidents, he has found himself in in the toughest situation. I mean, even even before he 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 took on the presidency. 
I mean, th- th- there was already a tribalistic agenda. Yeah, there's already, yeah, there's already things it, going on. Yes, yeah, yeah, so 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 he, he and and he 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 took he he he, he got sworn in uh, in the middle of a, a an, an, an economic time, to be honest with an, you. an economic slump. Yeah, and there, there's already this tribalistic agenda, and everything you do is 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 going to be. Um, frowned upon and the media is against you the yeah. uh, the the youth is uh, has got a has got a number on your head i mean he's uh, he's, he's a, in a tough he's spot a, he's, a, he's a tough guy like whatever whatever you say mm-hmm. um, whatever anybody says the the guy is, he's 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 a tough guy and 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 the other day I, i'm not sure if it was november or december it might have been november I was driving down to the Grove Mall, <laughs> and um, I, I I was using this new road, this one that they just built. Yeah, that's just confusing, man. Uh, <laughs> and, and 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 it hit me, mm-hmm. um, and it it hit me like a slap in the face. I said, "Shit, um, this guy just they they, they built a harbor, a massive, ex- extremely huge harbor." In yeah. in Valfes Bay, I think it was worth ten billion or something. Uh-huh. M- highly criticized, right? That what is the use of this thing? And and after that, he built this road that connects all the way from Valfes. Uh-huh. Right, it brings you to the heart of the city. It goes to the airport, and you see there where it crosses the Grove Mall. There's there's a sign. The the first sign it, it's a three tier sign, and the top sign says Rearboth eighty three kilometers. The second sign says I mean the second uh, notice says South Africa seven hundred and eighty one, and then the third sign is covered, right? Uh, very likely pointing to the airport. So this thing, in 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 and and the moment I saw that. It hit me. Said I, I said, "Shit, this guy." It, the moment you see a sign in Ventuk that is talking about South Africa, you, that sign is not for local people. It's not for. It's not. It's not for a local person. The guy invested. Well, whether it was him or the regime before him, but he ensured that the program got seen through. It, we're connecting. We just built a massive harbor. That's going to bring in whatever we still use quite a bit of seafaring, and that's not going anywhere for the next Lord knows how many years, right? So a lot of stuff is going to come through the harbor, and this road is connecting Ventuk to the harbor. Mm-hmm. It's connecting Ventuk to South Africa. It's connecting Ventuk to the airport and effectively Botswana. Yeah. So it 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 it, 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 it government's job. Is not to create jobs. True. Government's job is to create an enabling environment for entrepreneurs to create jobs. There we go. I can tell you, if we've got people coming in from the coast, the harbor, you're looking at a booming transport industry because who's going to who's going to Who's going to take the stuff from the harbor to South Africa and Botswana? Who? Local companies. That creates it, the size of the harbor is an indication of the target market. It's massive. A lot of people. We've got a lot of landlocked countries just on the other side of the of, on the opposite side of the coast. We've got Botswana. We've got Zambia. We've got Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. So in hindsight, what you're trying to say is we don't know where he stands in the I, sense I, that he's because d- i'm trying to give the guy the benefit of the doubt it, listen, I, i've heard people say all and, kinds of things and, and 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 i find it and i find it very interesting also mm-hmm. you want to know when his birthday is <laughs> don't tell me bro <laughs> don't tell me he's an august baby bro i'm telling you damn I'm we, telling you. we like, got problems I, bro I, <laughs> I, I don't I, and and I, I have no idea what to make of it uh-huh. but um I the the moment I saw that because I also had a somewhat negative outlook mm-hmm. 
And the moment I saw that, I took a, a step back. I said, whoa, I don't know what that is, but that is something. It's in Ventuk, a sign that is pointing to South Africa. I said, that's, that's, that, that's not for me. And then I asked myself, why is it not for me? And I said, because I'm not in the transport industry. And I asked myself, why am I not in the transport industry? And I said, oh, shit. Well, the, 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 that industry is going to be booming in a couple of years. Logistics. And I said, oh, shit. Yeah. So you know what? Mm-hmm. Maybe, just maybe. <laughs> um, and, 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 and. It's 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 it, it, it's crazy, but the the it, 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 for an entrepreneur like me, mm-hmm. that's what I sit around looking for. Uh, I I I'm 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 not here to to drive the truck. Mm-hmm. I'm not here to load the truck. No, I'm like I the, 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 the business the the business's government in the same way that the government is is here for the country mm-hmm. not to create jobs but to create a fa- to facilitate the environment yeah when i am building businesses i don't build businesses to make money i don't build businesses to make money i build businesses to create impact so that students who are coming out of university mm-hmm. can come into environment. a working environment yeah. a conducive working environment there we go and i create employment I make their lives better. I give them new ideas. I reshape their minds to have them to have goal-driven individuals. It's not about whether the person stays with me or not. Mm-hmm. In fact, if you if you want to grow with my businesses, grow by all means. But if you see that your capacity is greater than mine, grow. Because I want that. That means you can create more opportunity for the next person. Yeah. You know who told me that shit? <laughs> who? The same lawyer that you are talking about. Damn. Shit. I said what? You see that? Uh, that's ba- that's basically I'm kind of reserving judgment right now. Because I, I want to see the story unfold. I really want to see what happens. Uh, s- same here. I mean, I I I I'm 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 I'm, 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 I'm I stand at a very interesting position, and, and mm-hmm. remember. Um, one thing uh, I I really enjoy is studying people. Yeah. And 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 it, it 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 rocks my mind when 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 I was looking at someone one way and I just get completely hit with like a completely or an opportunity to see this person in a whole new light because that gives me the opportunity to say oh wait maybe you need to get out your fucking ass <laughs> and 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 just lose your opinion and 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 yeah. and, 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 and pay attention and watch mm-hmm. and see what you see and then you can form a, a, an, an opinion until the next time the person has the opportunity to just fucking thwart your 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 opinion because unless you're telling me you're the smartest man and you're the quickest ad- adapting person mm-hmm. th- 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 then you know it all but i don't i i i, I never go into an in, into a uh an interaction or an experience mm. with I know it all. It, I know a lot and 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 I will badger you <laughs> with like a shitload of information to yeah. overload you and the the but the moment you hit me with something that I believe I may learn from I'll drop all my my beliefs in a heartbeat I'll drop them quickly. No, that's good cuz dude that's the whole point of this podcast anyways. I'm just trying to bring in people to enlighten me, mm. share some knowledge. Mm. But hey, man, it's only the beginning. I can't wait to actually have more people on 100%, all 100%. kinds of fucking backgrounds and profession, uh, or different kinds of professions and all that. So, uh, but look, man, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Mm. I know you s- we spent two hours here. Believe yeah. it or not, mm. we spent two hours, <laughs> and uh, actually, there's a lot of things I actually wanted to touch on. Unfortunately, we won't be able to, but. He's gonna be back eventually, guys. So, <laughs> so don't trip. <laughs> I know. I, I I appreciate uh, you taking the time out. Thank you for the invite. I I, yeah. I mean, uh, it, it it took some time for 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 us to actually get here. Yeah, when this uh, like I said, we've been talking about this for a while. Yeah, for, for a while, and and and, well. and I mean, 
even uh, last week we were supposed to do this last this week. This was last week. And, and 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 that didn't work out. Yeah. Uh, but here we are today and thankfully. Yeah. So uh, I I appreciate it. Thank you. Um I um, I'd love to be back on the show. I oh, you will be back. Uh, yeah, I, I think this was this, w- this was amazing. Yeah, don't you fuck around. <laughs> <you know? laughs> uh, but yeah, man, guys, I would love for you guys to like, subscribe, share, comment, do whatever you can, man. If you guys want to interact with us, let me know. I'm definitely going to put up all our social media links in the description. And Look up Jonas Amoniela, a.k.a. The Billionaire King. My social media handle on Instagram is Jonas The Billionaire King. On Twitter, it's Jonas the Billionaire King or at Jonas the King 2. Uh, LinkedIn, it's Jonas Amunyela. I'm not on TikTok yet. Don't understand the algorithm yet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Facebook, Jonas Amunyela. Yeah. I'm less active there, but I may decide to uh, jump on just a bit just uh, to see what's going y- on. Yeah, it may become my psychology platform. So 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 keep keep an eye out for for that one uh, and just to, to quick to give a brief summary of my my social media mm-hmm. my Instagram is my uh, my stories are my lifestyle is my lifestyle platform my my feed is my motivational speaking platform my Twitter is my uh, I my handy my handyman and 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 uh, I post a lot of like stuff of of my 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 working lifestyle and I mean my my handwork uh and and then also it's it's a bridge to my Instagram so I I do share like quick thoughts and quotes that I come up with on my Twitter mm-hmm. uh my Facebook I intend on turning into my I think that should be like where you would not really consider providing like courses or or give highlights on what your courses can offer perhaps perhaps uh, but up, up, it, I haven't given that much thought mm-hmm. but um, I, I decided that um, my psychological um, insights mm-hmm. I will start posting on, on Facebook. Yeah, I think so. Uh, just just to give, uh, uh, they're not they're ill suited for for Instagram. Yeah. They are too long for Twitter. Mm-hmm. Uh, too boring for TikTok. <laughs> 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 my 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 LinkedIn is for my legal career. Yeah, uh, and, uh, and 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 to some extent, uh, my motivational teaching mm-hmm. speaking. Uh, so uh, I, I I may look into 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 that in terms of Facebook, but yeah. uh, I haven't been active on there for a number of years, maybe close to t- ten maybe. So I'll, I'll, yeah, I I'll, I'll definitely look at at reactivating. Well, it's active uh, or just re. Yeah. But even though you didn't get it live, I'm gonna still put it up in the description so you guys feel free just to check us out. Uh, messages if you have anything you'd like to share like advice by all means ask the billionaire king himself mm. clearly has a lot to say so you're gonna get enough information so with that being said bro I appreciate you for coming through I can't wait to do this again and uh, is there anything else you'd like to say nothing you want to touch up on I love you guys man <laughs> I love you guys I love you guys uh, it's yeah. that simple man alright right. right, guys Bye. cheers Type of lifestyle that we living over here is not the same. People say they.